All right, here is the update for the aphid infestation of this pluot. And if you look at it, it does not look very good. So this part, I don't know which variety this is, my 401 combination, but this guy, if you look at these little ridges that are on there, that is basically a sign of delamination between the cambium layer and the bark. And so this part is definitely dead. And if I come down here, I still have some growth that's going on there and there. Um, so what did I use to try to get the aphids off? I went on each leaf as described in the first video and I removed the aphids at the bottom. That did not get all of them because you can see there's still plum leaf curl. Um, the other downside is that the heat came in and um, I think that that removed a lot of the aphids, but it was still having issues. And so I decided to spray them off for a week or so and spraying them down didn't remove all of the aphids, but some of the parts started to grow pretty good, like here. Um, but the majority of it still was not looking good. It was looking more like this. You know, everything was being curled. So I used some organic spray to be able to kill off the aphids for a couple of weeks and uh, some other areas decided to grow out good. So I have some parts that are growing good, like this, and some parts that still held on to the peach or plum leaf curl, like this, and it is just struggling. Now we're at temperatures of 110 degrees. I have three of them that are growing okay. They're not growing the best. Um, it could also be that the rootstock is uh, not the best for this environment. I, there's a lot of different variables that it could be. But as of right now, I think I'm going to be losing this one. I think this, this is the Dapple Dandy. And one of these is King, Queen, and Supreme. I'm not sure which one. So I really wanted to have some of those fruit. The King, Queen, Supreme. Dapple Dandy I'm okay with not having, but I also want to have a flavor grenade. So over here, I planted a king and flavor king and a flavor queen over there. And I have it shaded because we are hitting temperatures of 105 degrees on a daily basis now. And that should help them grow. I'm going to do another video on temperature differences with shade cloth or no shade cloth, but I thought I'd give you an update of how to kill off aphids but there's a lot of other variables that are into play. The most important part, after you've tried to kill off all these aphids and you have some success, this is what success should look like. So if you come right there and you see that, that is new growth behind my finger, right there. And right there in front of my finger is also new growth right there. So I have new growth on some of these parts right there, new growth, a little burnt around the edges. There is new growth. So you want to make sure that you are getting new growth around your tree. If you are getting new growth, then that means that you're watering good, a good amount and that the, the shape and stuff, I'm no longer having aphid issues. Now, it's not because I don't think that I cleared off all the aphids. I think it's because my temperature got really, really hot and aphids have issues with things being over like 95 degrees. So they tend to not populate very well. So now the tree needs to figure out if it will survive in the temperature that we have here in the awesome desert of St. George, Utah. So I hope that this video update um, in short, what worked? And my answer, I have no idea. I tried everything except for a systemic cleanse. I did not put any toxic stuff into the ground. I figure it's not worth trying to save because I just newly planted it. It's not worth trying to save by 
making the whole entire tree toxic to aphids. And I also knew that hot temperatures were going to be coming in and aphids don't survive those hot temperatures or they don't like them. One of the two. So my recommendation, uh, spray neem oil before they even start to leaf out and that will kill off a lot of the aphids. The issue with this tree is I bought it and planted it. I just assumed that everything would be good, but right out of the gate, as soon as green growth was starting, um, aphids were starting to infest it. So it was, it was a problem right out of the gate. All right, I hope this video is helpful. Um, if not, I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out this stuff just like a lot of other people out there, but hopefully you will prevent aphids by spraying it with neem oil while it is dormant or dormant oil. That's what it is also called. Um, I like to do things organically. I had no issues with aphids on any of my other trees. It was just this one. So hope that helps. Have a stellar day.